Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm making a second version of my Nightmare Before Christmas paper cut art piece. So let's just get right into it. If you watched my last video, you will know that I made the Halloween version of this Nightmare Before Christmas diorama. It's a very iconic scene and I thought it would be really fun for Halloween. And there happens to be a scene of the same exact thing but with Sally during the winter when Jack makes it winter time. So I thought since now winter is coming and Christmas is coming, I thought I would make the Christmas version of this scene. So yeah, that's what I'm doing today. It's gonna be the same super simple three layer light box as the other one. So you can make both really easily. I cut my usual 8.5 by 11 sheet of cardstock in half to create the size of my layers just like in the other one, just so they match. And then it's time to make the layers. I start again with the hill. I draw out the shape of the hill, it's really easy, the same thing. But on this one, I draw little icicles clinging down from the curve then, because the whole entire hill is covered in snow. And to help create that snow feel, I get a little sewing pin and I poke a bunch of holes all over the layer to look like the sparkles on the snow surface. And I really like how that looks. It makes it really nice and glowy and it adds a little bit extra detail. But yeah, this layer is really simple. I will add Sally and Jack in a bit, but for now this layer is done. The second layer is going to be the sky with the moon. Again, I use a lid to trace the circle and I cut it out. The only key here is you have to make sure the moon lines up with the hill. That's why in the beginning I used the hill as a guide for where I'm making the moon. I will also come back to this layer. Third and final layer is again the front foreground with the fence, the little hills, and the pumpkins. This scene, at least the screenshot I got, is a little bit different than the other one. This one has a bunch of graves and some trees and stuff, so I'm cutting out the graves and I do the ones that are on the edge of like the hill. I cut that on the layer, but the rest of the details I'm gonna cut out separately and glue on. But yeah, again, once I cut that out, I'm ready to move on to all the details. The main thing I wanted to start on here is Jack and Sally because, of course, they are the focal point and the main subject of this whole entire thing. I traced them off of my tablet because they were so small and I couldn't get the proportions right. I traced them and cut them out. They were so tiny, it was really hard to get any details into them. I did a few on Sally's dress and stuff, but... It didn't show up too much, but it still looked good. Then I glued them in place on the hill in front of the moon. Also, if you like the kind of work that I do and you want to see more and you want to support a small artist, then consider checking out my Patreon. I don't have anything on there right now, it's just for a little support. So if you want to check that out, the link will be down below. Thank you! There were a few details I missed in the foreground, like a few headstones. I made a simple shaped one, and then this one here, this weird cross looking one. I don't even know if it's a cross, it looks like a wheel. It didn't turn out really well, I don't know. I couldn't figure it out, so I kind of just reworked it a bit, um, and I added a few dangling icicles off of it, and these were done, and I glued them in place. Then, to add the rest of the details, I made a bunch of pumpkins. In this scene, there's a bunch of them in the foreground and a lot in the distance. So, I made different sized pumpkins. And then, there's also a tiny little grove of trees off to the side, so I cut those out. I cut out also the fences running into the background, and everything was just really, really easy. The pumpkins are also covered in snow, so I cut a little line like kind of halfway down roughly to create the like snow covered look and I glued everything in place. Then I got a piece of tracing paper and covered the hole where the moon is, just so it's not see-through. And here are all the layers, and now 
to assemble. I got a comment yesterday about layering my light boxes. So I'm gonna show you how. I get a half inch thick sheet of foam board and then I have a half inch border around all of my paper layers. So I cut strips that are half inch long and half inch thick and I glue them along the back of those like little edges and then I just stack the layers on top with glue and that's it. And I used a really nice pale blue light to look like snowfall and I'm so happy with how this looked. I love how the little poked holes look like snow sparkling on the ground and I just really love this light box. Also the two of them together look really nice and I like the contrast that one's blue, one's orange, one's Christmassy, one's Halloween. -y. And yeah, here's the finished piece. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing, and I will see you next time. Bye!